In a previous video, I showed putting up these double closet doors and the casing around it. I kind of really just skimmed over that. So this video will go into a little more detail on me putting up the trim. So I'm going to put up my trim or door casing now around the closet. I'll make my reveal around the closet door the same as around my bedroom door, which is a quarter of an inch. Now I want my reveal to be a quarter of an inch so I could use my combination square and mark the line. But I found it's easier. What I did was some time ago I made a rabbit of a quarter of an inch on a piece of wood when I had my router out and I just made a few samples and this one happens to be a quarter of an inch and so I find that's a lot easier to mark your line. So we'll mark our line, quarter of an inch reveal. I'm going to start with the top casing and it's about 72 inches and just to hold it in place I'm going to put up a finishing nail to help me. So starting with the top piece I cut one end at 45 degrees and now with my couple nails to help me hold it there I'll come down to the quarter inch mark and then make a mark on the, sh the short end and I'm going to make a, a line to make sure I know which angle to cut it on. So let's go cut that. Well, with the top piece now cut on both ends, see how it fits. Right on. So let's tack it up. So for the side casing, I cut a piece of scrap to make sure my angle is right before I cut the final piece. Line it up to my reveal line and I have a gap at the top. So I need to cut a little more off of the heel, probably 45 and a half degrees. I'll set my miter to. All right, we have our cut for the left side but so we don't have to measure what we're going to do is turn this upside down just a little off the floor because I'm going to be toweling the floor and we'll mark it so let's go cut that well I'm ready to put up the left side of the tread casing but I thought, you know, just to have a little fun here, I'm going to make a time capsule. I've got these openings here, and what I thought I'd do, I'm going to put in Microsoft PowerPoint 4.0. This is probably from the 90s. A three and a half inch discs. 
I'm going to put that in here as a time capsule. I've got a the first season of the Diamondbacks, Arizona Diamondbacks, 1998, Arizona Diamondbacks versus San Francisco Giants, April 5th, 1998. I'll put that in here. And a Phoenix Suns keychain with their schedule. I'll put that in here. And continuing on our sports theme time capsule, I have today's sports section. The Arizona Republic. I'll put that in down here. Maybe in a hundred years from now when they decide to change this out, they'll find my time capsule. Okay, we're ready to sit the left side. For my time capsule on the right side, I thought we'd put in some food ads. A hundred years from now, they'll see what the prices of food was. And a little bit of movie history. How about a VCR tape? Men in Black. That'll give them something to ponder 100 years from now. We'll see. Well, there it is, the finished product, casings up, doors are painted, the dummy doorknobs are on. Thanks for watching, I'll see you on my next project.